Okay, so I am now at another comic book shop with another fellow comic book enthusiast, and I am going to be filming and, and talking about comic books and asking my questions. First question, is it cool that I interview you? Sure. And film you? Yeah. I got to get that on film. I know it's a waste consent. of question. <laughs> All right. Yeah, you have my consent. Thank you. Um, second question, do you have a favorite villain? Favorite villain? I don't know. That's a really good question. <laughs> you know, I can't say I... Nothing comes to mind right now, right? I don't know. I was just flip, flipping through Scott Pilgrim. Scott Pilgrim? He's got some good villains in that. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> Seven of them. Right. Okay. Well, we'll do this. Okay. Um, what are you reading this week? Are your current faves that you're My digging? My current faves right now. Um, I'm into Invincible Iron Man right here. I really do like the continuity of the fact that it's uh, been fractioned. Excuse the pronunciation, but La Roca or whatever. Yeah, yeah. For, for since uh, they revamped the series and then you know got back into the 500s, but that one I've enjoyed. And then obviously I don't know. It's easy to say, but like the Millar stuff, some of it. Oh yeah, 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 yeah. 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 Very cool. All right, nothing and nothing very, uh, nothing very indie, quote unquote. You know? <laughs> it's cool. And I was it's talking with you earlier about this too. I, I was just excited for an artist change because they, they uh, supposedly changed the teams. I haven't read this book in about a year. I'm just they're just piling up on my desk. But um, I was looking forward to one again pronunciation. One would be. Billo, Billo, um, doing X Men because I really liked his art in She Hulk, and uh, then I flipped through it, and then I was like, eh, I don't know, we'll see. It's not always about the art, but for some reason I get drawn sometimes to the art first before the story. And uh, oh, totally, totally, totally. Yeah, well, it's not. I don't know. <laughs> I feel like it's not fair all the time. So my fourth question is, if you had a superpower, what would it be? All right. Well, I thought about it. I think it'd be either two things. One would be the ability to travel through. It's, it's both traveling, right? The ability to travel through time or something like that. Oh, yeah, yeah, it's yeah. It's like uh, my favorite filmmaker, Wong Kar Wai. Oh, uh, yeah, his yeah. His movies are about memory and things like that. Yeah. I don't know. Like, I feel like you, you get lost in that stuff. The other one, obviously, everybody, I mean, uh, not obviously, what am I talking saying? Uh, <laughs> teleportation. Because, uh, like, I really would love to teleport so I can get this steak I had in Argentina yeah. two years ago that I still think about to this day. <laughs> you know, if, if it were easy to fly to Argentina, which is not, yeah. then uh, I'd be eating steak like once a year there. Awesome. But it's not. My fifth and final question. Okay. Okay, so you're obviously a Marvel fan. Yeah. You know, okay, so I'm going to ask you a Marvel question. And this is one of my favorite questions I've been asking um, people. If Spider-Man, or rather, sorry, I already messed it up. What do you think Spider-Man prefers? Um, Kraft or Velveeta mac and cheese? I don't have to say Kraft, right? Yeah. That just seems, I don't know. I've never had Velveeta, so I'm just speaking with my own bias. Awesome, awesome. Well, since you've been awesome with my, I'm going to give you a little. Oh, <laughs> I appreciate it. Thank you very much. Do you know, by the way, that, um, what's his name? Ted Williams, the homeless guy with a golden voice, yes. was doing their VOs. No way. on their commercials. So, yeah. Really? Yeah, because he says, Kraft macaroni and cheese. You know you love it. <laughs> the guy, you know the guy they found? Yeah, the golden voice? Yeah. That, no way. Yeah. That's really cool. That's a, oh. So this work, this is serendipitous. <laughs> Thank you so much for being my rapid five. And... Everybody Can should... I make another comment, too? Sure, sure. Okay. We used to play a lot of classic rock here, like WZLX and whatnot. Yeah. And it's very weird. Ever since the radio broke, and ever since they redefined what classic rock consists of, like, now we're doing jazz, apparently. I kind of like it. Yeah. It makes it really classy in here. Yeah, yeah. You know? Except Jim's hearing is gone, <laughs> so the music softened a little too loud. <laughs> okay, that's all I have. It's like a speakeasy in here. Yeah. I'm totally think digging it. Well, yeah. thank you so much, comic book enthusiasts. And yes, so definitely everybody should go to their local comic book shops because it's awesome. Thank you. Thank you. Yay. <laughs>